Oh no! Oh. I, you look like a Disney villain. I love it. It's not the desired effect. <laughs> Hi lovelies! It's us, we're back again by unpopular demand with another video. Uh, it would really help us out if you liked, commented and subscribed to our channel. If you don't like us, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like myself either sometimes. You it's, like it's, either sometimes? Oh, fucking, oh my, that sounds. <laughs> um, no, but it would help us out a lot. So today we're just going to do a get ready with us video. We asked our limited Instagram followings for some questions they might want to know for a getting to know you video. And we've received one. <laughs> one. So we're just going to chit chat, talk about how we got into makeup, things like that. Yeah, just how we, how we met, just general little things, just while we get ready. So, um, grab your makeup bag. Yeah, let's get ready. Okay, first, guys, you might not have time to show you every product we're using, but everything will be listed fully in the description box for everything we're both using. But let's dive in. So we're both going to use um, the same primer. She's got loads. I have very little left. Times are hard. So we did get asked the one question. Yeah, so um, Tiana Roberts 12. I'll link her Instagram in the video since she was so kind to ask the question. And very good. She asked us if our names were actually Maz and Deb. Uh, the answer, to an extent, there are no. nicknames. <laughs> Right, so Maz's real name is Maria, and basically, I was too lazy to call her full name, <gasps> and I needed like, a nickname for her, and she had previously said that in school, like in college, yeah. that's what her friends used to call her, and she used to hate it. So, one, I knew she didn't like the name, two, <laughs> I think Maz is really easy to say, so it just stuck there, and I've just called her Maz since, since, I, since I knew her, really. And... Deb's real name is Paige, and um, it's a story of why I started calling her Deb. So we first met when we were in halls together, and I found one day her student ID card, and believe it or not, her middle name is not Deborah, as one might expect, it is Debbie. <laughs> the nickname Debbie is her genuine, on her birth certificate middle name, and I found that so hilarious. I started calling her Debbie. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> and it caught on. And now a lot of everyone hears me call her Deb. It caught on in halls for a while. People yeah. call me Deb for ages. Because I, I found it so hilarious that her middle name was a nickname. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so I just quickly did my eyebrows off camera because I said quickly they took me ages. So I'm, um, you know, saving everyone's time. They take work, apparently. Yeah. I did my base while she was doing them. I still had to sat to sit here for a good <laughs> five ten minutes while she was finishing the brow. Uh, but it's fine. Yeah, right. I'm gonna dive into eyeshadow. And then. I'm gonna continue with my concealer. So I'm a base first type of girl. So I met Maz in uni. That's how we met, basically. We lived in the halls together here in Swansea in Wales. That's where we live. Yeah, so we... Obviously, um, that's not where we're both from. No, that's the thing, actually, as well. Yeah, so I'm from, like, the Valley, South Wales. I'm from Southampton, Hampshire. So, okay. we met in uni. So, we've lived together... Three um, years? For nearly three years, yeah. Oh. It's been a blast. <laughs> So, Debs was in L22, I was in L26, the rest is history. Yeah. So, basically, yeah, we just, well, that's how we met each other. We were in halls, and we just clicked straight away. We've been really close friends since... Ever since then, yeah. Since, since like, the first day. Um, we mm. had a house last year with um, some, other, some girls. other girls, and things didn't work out. And then we had a flat together for our third year. Just the two of us, so it's been fine. Yeah. Um, and then we, we're both doing a master's next year, so we're both staying for another year. Um, Maz does psychology, and I do tourism and event management. It's psychology and counselling, but psychology because I apologize. it's better. I apologise. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we've both been accepted to do a master's degrees, and um, we're hoping to move in with a few of our friends who are also doing master's. So it's exciting. If you guys want a flat tour or where we live tour, just let us know if anyone even wants it's that. <laughs> We've made it nice. 
It's when so we hot. came to view the place, it it was horrendous. There was duct tape on the floor, bins everywhere. There were boys that live here, but still, it was awful in here. Yeah, so like tips to like any of you guys who are students looking for accommodation mm-hmm. is find it fast. Like you've got to be weary of people that you're moving in with. But it, we left this flat at last minute, and that's why we're stuck with such. A, but it's all right. But you it's know. Not, I think. When you go to view somewhere, you have to take it at face value. So obviously, a lot of students, where they live away from home for the first time, the houses that they live in are disgusting because they can't they can't be bothered to clean them. So when you go and view somewhere, you just have to visualize what you're gonna make it like. That's what we did with this place. And honestly, it was disgusting in here when we viewed it, and I think that it's all right. Yeah, it's not bad. So I think the reason that we knew that we were gonna click so quickly is because when we met. At we found out that our birthdays are exactly a week apart. Mine's the 13th of September, Deb's is on the 20th. So we're both Virgos as well. And we get to celebrate our birthdays. That is a joint thing, what we did last year, just gone. We are both turned 21 and September just gone, so that was a good, a good celebration. <laughs> yeah. We had like two celebrations. So yeah, we went to, uh, yeah, friend, we we went to stay at a friend's... Um, like a party and then obviously we moved back to um, Swansea. Swansea and we um, had um, a couple of friends over and we did a night out and stuff. Mm. But yeah, I think we thought, I think we were both just shocked it's, what are the that odds? it was like a week apart. It's the odds. Can't find my eyebrow brush. Oh, I've got it. On got it. I, I love it. I think it looks really nice. You look like a Disney villain. You do. <laughs> Go for the rainbow look to you guys. <laughs> I, you look like a Disney villain. I love it. It's not the desired effect. <laughs> it's fine. It looks good. It's fine. Um, what age did you get into makeup? Um, I think I started wearing, aside from playing with makeup, as like a little girl. I think I started wearing makeup to school when I was like 12, 13, only a little bit. Then it progressed and we all go through those stages. See, I think... Of the embarrassing makeup. Yeah, I think I started doing a lot, like, obviously, like, the girls in school used to, like, wear loads, so I started wearing loads. Mm. But then I sort of stopped wearing it for a while. Mm. Like, I wouldn't wear hardly any makeup. I put a bit of foundation on. But I've always had really, really bad dry skin mm. and I never used to look after it so like over time I just stopped doing like foundation and stuff because it was just so it just wasn't like and it was like cheap foundation mm. or like it was like dream matte mousse yeah. and I used to dry my skin out so much so I just like stopped wearing in the end so I've always wore eyeliner and mascara yeah. that's been my thing I always had really oily skin growing up so I just looked like a massive oil sick all the time and then out of nowhere, in like first year when we were in halls, it just dried up completely. Yeah. I think I started proper experimenting with makeup like this about a year ago. Yeah. So when I got to uni, so it was, what year was it? 2015? No, that's way too long. Yeah. It was. it was. 2015. Yeah. That was so, oh, that seems so <laughs> long ago. Right. So yeah. So in 2015, when we first went to uni, I would wear, like, I would try and experiment. And I'd wear a lot more on my face. But it's only been um, so since the house last year. Mm-hmm. So literally a year, I've started doing like really bright random colours and really defined eyebrows. Yeah. So I started watching YouTube and stuff like makeup people on YouTube when I was like 16 in college. Yeah. And then I started buying stuff and I started experimenting more and then I think I remember being in first year and it taking me ages to do my makeup and you being like, Maria, what, what, why is it taking you so long? I know, and now I take longer than her. It's ridiculous. I know. I remember she did my makeup once in halls and I felt like a Aww. model. I know. So you could say you got into makeup. I think I did get into makeup because of you. I've always oh. sort of, I've always sort of watched like makeup tutorials and stuff. Like I've always had Nikki tutorials and like, yeah. subscribed to it, but I never really used to watch specific people. Yeah. And I think after meeting you and um you being so heavily like in 
um, influenced my makeup and stuff. Yeah. That's when I started like following people. Now we watched all the influencers together on our so, TV. I know. We watched on the tag in front of So like <laughs> makeup by Jack always. We love him. Um, Tarty reviews. Uh, I can't. I won't buy a product unless it is Tarty approved. I trust her with my own life. Genuinely. Um, obviously Nikki tutorials. We love. I love Nikki. And there's a bunch of other ones that we both then watch like separately. But on the TV, it will be. Those are the main. The Make by Jack, Tarty, and Nikki tutorials. Uh, we used to watch a lot of Jeffrey Star, but. We've gone off him massively. I just think he shows off so much and it just pisses me off watching his videos. Even his Snapchat, he's just... I'm watching him and I'm like, fair enough. If you work from somewhere so low, you want to show off the success that you've made. And I would be the exact same if I somehow managed to be fucking rich. I would want to show off my success, but he does it, in, I think, in such a way that just makes me feel like shit watching his videos. Cause I'm like, yeah. well... I'm, I'm, an, I'm I just, he doesn't really do makeup anymore, and I'm just like, well, I'm only I don't watching. like the makeup he used to do anyway, just not a fan. Well, no, but you know. Mm, we know. That's why I used to watch him. But Nikki, Nikki, I love her. I love Nikki. I'll never grow old watching Nikki, but I think Makeup by Jack has Ooh, become like our favourite. Test nuts and sugar pill eyeshadows today, just while we're doing this. Sorry, Deb, carry on. Yeah, we love Makeup by Jack. Yeah, I think that's like the one we're like obsessed with at the moment. I really saw. I've started watching Thomas Halbert as well. And I think I is. watch him as well. I really like him since since you showed me his following Jeffrey Star's makeup tutorial. Yeah, I find him really funny. Also, if anyone is watching, <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to do any like videos like that, I have been asked already to do a follow um a Manny. A Manny one. Manny tutorial, yeah, or a Nikki tutorial. They use such expensive products though, and we're poor. Yeah, but we haven't got to use the same one, we just got to do what they say. Yeah, true. So, you know, it'll be funny anyway. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a laugh. We can give it a go. Um, so, another thing that we, well, we would want to know if we were watching someone's us. video, yeah. watching us, um, is Guilty Pleasures. So, what's your Guilty Pleasure? Uh, recently we started watching Glee. We love Glee. I love Glee. I can't understand why anyone wouldn't like Glee. All of my my mum, my brother, all of them make fun of me for loving Glee. I think it's amazing. It's one of the best shows ever. No, I love Glee. Yeah, we started watching that. We, we only started watching it a couple of... Well, I'd say a week, week ago. Before. Yeah. And um, we are on season three. Yeah, we're black. And we've also group. started rewatching Vampire Diaries between that as well. Oh, I love Vampire Diaries. And obviously doing uni work and stuff. So we try not to have the telly on like as much throughout the day. However, Glee is like, because it's a lot of music, we just got it on and it's. It's nice. It's been distracting me though, considering <laughs> I've seen it like four times. It's just. I can't see why anyone wouldn't love the covers. I think they're amazing. Love a bit of Glee. Yeah. Um, other guilty pleasures, um, One Direction. I love a bit of 1D. I don't think I've got any guilty pleasures. See, when you're on, like, the bus or something, you're walking down the street, and you've got 1D in your headphones, and you've got it so loud, you're like, oh my god, people are going to hear me, they're going to know. They're um, gonna know that I'm listening to One Direction, so you turn it down out of shame. I don't have this problem. I do it all I'm the time. cool. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right. I was taking a bit up myself, no need for you to carry on. <laughs> no, I don't think I have any. I don't know. I mean, I like a lot of stuff that people probably don't like, but. Well, like what? I don't know. Just give us an example. Like, that's why I can't think. I don't know. Actually, what do you like that I don't like? That I think it's... You love um, the old 80s teen movies and teen oh, movies. Dawson's Creek. I've been re-watching that. That's a good watch if you're into, like, 80s and 90s stuff. I think it was 98. Beverly Hills 90210. The original, like... Guys. I love 80s films. I suppose that is... I don't know. I think a lot of people like 80s films. Yeah, but you like the cringy 80s series. Or Dawson's Creek and... 
have you seen some of the clothes they wear? I, it's the fucking 90s. <laughs> I know, and it's hilarious. Right, so I would say that's my guilty pleasure then, like Dawson's Creek. I love a bit of Dawson's Creek. Buffy. Uh, Buffy's not a guilty pleasure. Buffy is life. Wow. I haven't seen is Angel. Apparently it's really good. Hmm. Okay, so going what we said about guilty pleasures, I did think of something. Mm -hmm. And it's my ducks. Are you ducks? So oh. I've got like a slight obsession. Slight? With like rubber ducks. So I've literally got... She won't allow me to eat my favourite food, duck from a Chinese takeaway, in her presence. She won't let me do it. No, no. I love ducks. They're my favourite animal. But rubber ducks, especially like the actual plastic little rubber ducks, I've got loads of them. I'll have to do a video on all my ducks and their names. Oh god. I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. But no, I do have loads of ducks and I'll, um, I'll probably pop them on our Instagram at some point. If you can fit them. If I can fit them. <laughs> <laughs> do you no, um, I think my guilty pleasure is Monty. Thinking about that. The penguin thing. Monty. My uni friends took me to Folly Farm on our last, on one of our last days of term. And I don't know if anyone not from Wales will even know what Folly Farm is, because I didn't. This is a zoo. It's the best place on earth. It's a zoo slash farm slash amusement park. And it's amazing. It's so good. And they had a really odd blend of animals there. Like, they had all the general, general normal farm animals. Then they had, like, lions and penguins. And walking out of the gift shop, I was like, girls, I need, I need one of the fur cuddly toys to remember the trip by. And my friend Jess bought me a cuddly penguin, I named him Monty, and I genuinely can't sleep without him now, and I'm 21 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing, I'm 21. Oh, oh, no. I think that's it really for Gilly Powers. I think that's it for getting to know us as well. I don't know if anyone feels that like they know us any better now. Um, but we're just going to finish getting ready. And then we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here are our finished looks. We've successfully managed to get ready this close together. Yeah. <laughs> With us two people. Oh, but um, yeah, we're open to upload roughly once a week. Um, if... Our schedules will let us. <clears throat> um, if you want us to do anything similar to this in the future, just let us know in the comment section. The best way to get hold of us is through Instagram, probably, so follow us. Um, I'll put it down here somewhere. Um, Maz and Deb Beauty. If you have any video ideas that you want to see from us until then, message us on Instagram, like Deb's has said. So, um, follow us on Instagram, give this video a thumbs up, it will help us out loads. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. And if you didn't like us, then just don't watch us again. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, but yeah, but no, thanks for sitting with sitting us. Sitting through us. Um, hope you've uh, finished getting ready yourself. If not, then good, good luck. luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to go make food. So everyone have a good day. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.